Lesson 2.10, the term of a systematic account. Please read the introduction article, How long should I make deposits to reach my goal? How long can I make withdrawals before running out of money? Please read this article so you are familiar with the terminology. Example number one. In our last section, which was 2.9, you determined logarithms could be used for a single deposit savings account for a compound interest formula. And this was the problem. Jake is considering depositing money into a savings account that pays 1.2% interest compounded monthly. They want us to write the general compound interest formula for this single deposit using logarithms and solving for t. So we have the formula b equals p 1 plus r over n all to the n t. This is our compound interest formula where you need to know b, p, r, n, and t says that it was at 1.2%, which as a decimal is 0.012, and he's compounding monthly, so N is 12, and that is all that we know. So B, we don't know B, P, we don't know P, 1 plus, we know R is 0.012, we know N as 12, so this is raised to the 12 N power. Do you want us to solve for T? So the first thing we do is we get rid of this P. So we're gonna divide both sides by P, so I have the fraction b over p equaling p divided by p is 1. What is this parenthesis? Simplify this parenthesis. Get 1.001, and it's all to the 12t power. It's in exponent form. I need it to be rewritten in log form. To be able to do that, I need to see the exponent part written first so that I could then identify my base. So I know this is going to be log base 1.001. It is of this fraction equaling 12t. So of this fraction equaling 12t, we were asked to solve for t. So I'm gonna divide both sides by 12. So I have log base 1.001 of the fraction b over p all of that divided by 12 will give me my t. Now let's go ahead and check your understanding. Martha deposits $200 into an account that pays 1% interest compounded quarterly. Write an expression for how long it will take for the initial deposit to grow to $300. Do not evaluate the logarithm. So here is our compound interest formula where I needed to know B, P, R, N, and T. We know that she deposits $200, so P is 200. It pays 1% interest, so R is 0.01. Quarterly, it happened four times in the year. Write the expression for how long, we don't know T, for the initial deposit to grow to $300. So I have 300 equaling 200, one plus, here is my rate, divided by my N, and this is N times T. I need the 200 to go away, so we're going to divide both sides by 200. 200 divided by 200, they want each other out. So 300 divided by 200 is 1.5. My parentheses simplifies to 1.0025, and it's raised to this exponent. If I want to solve for t, I need it out of the exponent, which means I need to put it into log form. To do that, I need to be able to see the exponent part written first, because that way then it is easier for me to say, hey look, this is my base. So I am log base 1.0025. I'm gonna be of the 1.5. So here's of my 1.5 equaling 4t. I need the four to go away. Divide both sides by four. Four divided by four is one. So I'm left with t equaling, this is log base 1.0025 of the 1.5 all divided by 4. Lesson 2.10 has a second article that you need to read, one-to-one -one property and the power property. So please read this article so if you're familiar with the terminology. This article does have one practice problem that we need to do. How do we simplify this? The numerator we cannot do in our calculator. We need to change the base form of this numerator. So I have t equaling, my numerator would have been log of 1.25 divided by log of the 1.001. This is how I write my numerator. Don't forget, it's all divided by 12. So this numerator typed into my calculator is gonna give me 223.255. All of it's divided by 12. 
So simplifying this fraction, I get 18.6046, which would tell you that the time is about 18.6 years. Example number two. Use the properties of logarithms to solve example number one a different way. Show that these properties yield the same result. So let's go ahead and solve that problem a different way. So we currently have b over p equaling 1.001 .001 all to the 12t power. This is what we currently have. And we know that b is 1,000. We know p is 800. So this is 1,000 divided by 800 equaling, this is our problem. We want to solve this a different way. Well, first, what is 1,000 divided by 800? 1.25. Now we are going to use the one-to-one -one property. The one-to-one -one property says that I could take the log of both sides, kind of like you chose to add to both sides or multiply to both sides. We're going to take the log of both sides. So this now says log of 1.25 equals log of this 1.001 .001 to the 12t power. Now that I see that I have a log and a log, Using the power property, this exponent belongs in the front of the log. If you have a log and that log has an exponent, that exponent doesn't stay there. That log is supposed to go to the front of the log. So this is log of 1.25 equals, this was my exponent, and now it is in front of my log. This is the power property. Now I can see that the t is no longer a part of the exponent, and I can solve for t. So I am going to divide both sides by this log, log of 1.001 .001 divided by log of 1.001, .001, ones each other out. So I have this right here, which ends up simplifying to 223.255 equals 12t. Divide both sides by 12, and this should look familiar to you now. This is 18.6046 equals 12 divided by 12 is 1, so I just have 1t. So my problem is t is about 18.6 years. We solved the same article problem, but we solved it a different way. We ended up using our 1 to 1 property to make both sides a log and then our power property to bring the exponent down. Let's go ahead and take a look at the two different ways we use to solve the problem using this one. In the previous lesson, we were used to seeing the exponent part written first, and that we were able to start with our base, so this is log of 1.5, and write it in log form. We knew that we did not know how to do this on a calculator, so this would have been rewritten as log of 3.6 divided by log of 1.5 equaling 5t. I need to solve for t, which meant we're going to divide both sides by 5, because 5 divided by 5 is 1. So I have log of 3.6 divided by log of 1.5 all over 5 equaling my t. I solve for this in my calculator, I end up getting t to be 0 0.631834. Well, what if I didn't change this into log form? What if instead I used the one-to-one -one property and the power property? So here's the problem. I see that I have an exponent all by itself. I want to do the one-to-one -one property, and I want to write both of them as logs. So I'm going to log both sides. I put a log on both sides. Now that there's a log on both sides, this exponent's not supposed to stay there. This exponent needs to go in front of the log. That act right there is the power property. So I have log of 3.6 equaling that 5t times the log of 1.5. I want the t by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by log of 1.5. Log of 1.5 divided by log of 1.5 ones each other out. So I have this fraction equaling 5t. I need the t by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5, because 5 divided by 5 is 1. So I end up getting this numerator, 
log of 3.6 all over log of 1.5. All of that is divided by 5 gives me the t. You'll notice the same problem. So my final answer ends up being about, is said, to round to the tenth. So this is 0 0.6 years. Two different ways to solve the same exact problem. This one has you convert from exponent form to log form. This one has you use the one-to-one -one property and the power property. Example number three is going to take the full page. So we'll do the top half and then we'll move down. So number three. Gary and Ann want to make monthly deposits of $400 into a savings account, which offers 1.95% interest compounded monthly. So here is our formula. Now this isn't the compound formula. This is because it's asking us to do a future value. So this is the future value of a periodic investment. How did I need to do this one? It's because he's making monthly deposits of $400. Every month he's going to be depositing. So this is the I deposit every month formula. So we have B, P, R, N, and T. They want to make monthly deposits of $400. So every month I am putting $400 in. The rate is 1.95%, which is 0 0.0195. Monthly meant it happened 12 times in the year. How long will it take? What is T? To get $10,000. So I have $10,000, my B equals, I need my P, which is 400. That is multiplied by one plus my R divided by my N. I have N times T minus one that finishes my numerator. All of this is divided by my R divided by my n fraction. So first, let's figure out what is this parenthesis and what is this fraction. So now that I can see it a little easier, I need to get this denominator to go away. You undo a denominator by multiplying. So we're gonna multiply both sides by the number in the denominator Number divided by same number ones each other out. Multiplying these together, I get 16.25. I need to get this parenthesis to be by itself, which meant the 400 needs to go away. He's connected to it by multiplication, which means to undo it, we need to divide. So dividing both sides by 400. 400 divided by 400 ones each other out. This fraction simplifies down. And then what's left on this side is this. Now I need to get this by itself, which means the minus one needs to move. You move it by adding one to each side. This is the problem I have left. And we are being asked to solve for T, which means I want to put this into log form. To do that, I need to be able to see the exponent part written first because this way I could see my base. So I know I have log of base is 1.00163 of, here is my swoop of 1.040625 equaling my 12t. Simplifying this, I end up getting log of this number divided by log of this number I need T by itself, so divide both sides by that 12. So I have this numerator divided by 12. I get 2.03752 equaling 12 by 12 is 1. This is my T. So my T says that in about two years, I'll have $10,000. Let's go ahead and check your understanding. And again, this problem will take the entire page. Phyllis opened a systematic savings account into which she'll deposit $200 per month. So here is our, hey, I'm depositing something every single month equation, where I need to know B, P, R, N, and T. So she's opening an account, depositing $200 every month. It's compounded monthly, which means it's gonna happen 12 times in a year. 
the rate is 1.26%, which as a decimal is 0 0.0126. How long will it take, what's the time, to reach $5,000 for my B, my ending balance, to be $5,000? It says use either method above. So I can use any method that I want to do this. So my B is 5,000. My P is 200. I have one plus here is my rate divided by my n raised to the n times t minus 1, and this whole thing is the r divided by n. First, I want to simplify my parentheses and my fraction. So this is 5,000 equals 200. The inside of the parentheses is 1.00105. This fraction simplifies to 0 0.00105. I need to get the denominator to go away. You want to do a divided denominator by multiplying. So we're going to multiply both sides by the number in the denominator. They want each other out. Multiplying these two together, I get 5.25. I need the parentheses by itself, which means the multiplied 200 needs to go away. You want to do multiplication by dividing, so divide both sides by that 200. 200 divided by 200 ones each other out. This fraction simplifies. I need to get this by itself, which means I need to move the minus 1 by adding 1 to each side. Now I'm going to solve this one using a different way. I'm going to go ahead and take the log of both sides. So I've got log of this number, and now I've got log of this number. Both sides have logs, which meant this exponent's not supposed to be on the log. The exponent needs to be in the front of the log. So rewriting it so it's in the front of the log. I need to get the 12t by itself, which meant I'm going to divide both sides by this log. Log divided by log is 1, so I have this fraction. Simplifying this fraction, it's 24.6905 equaling 12t. Divide both sides by 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1, so the t is by itself. This is 2.05754 equaling t. The problem said to round to the nearest tenth of a year. So t is going to be about 2.1 years. Tenth of a year would have been the first place value. Lesson 2.10 has one last article that I need you to read. Our last problem, example four. Laura and Rich deposit $100,000 into an account that compounds interest monthly at a rate of 1.08% each month. And they're going to withdraw $500 from the account. So we have this new withdraw problem. This was the withdraw formula given to you in the article. So we have P, R, N, T, and W. So they deposited $100,000. In the account, it's going to compound interest monthly, so it happens 12 times through the year. My rate is 1.08%, which is 0 0.0108 as a decimal. They're going to withdraw, which is W, $500 every month. How long will it take, T, to be down to zero. So let's see how long will it take to use all of your money. So P is a hundred thousand dollars. My W is 500. Big bracket, the numerator is one minus my one plus here is my rate divided by my N all over negative N times T all over. Here is my fraction. First thing I want to do is what is this parenthesis and what is this fraction down here? I need to get rid of this multiplied 500, so this parenthesis by itself. So getting rid of this multiplied by 500, you're actually going to divide both sides by 500. 500 divided by 500 is 1. Simplifying this fraction, I end up getting 200. So now that this parenthesis is all by itself, now I need to get rid of this denominator. 
You want to do division by multiplication, so we're going to multiply both sides by that number. Divided by the same number, you want each other out. Simplifying this, I get 0 0.18. So now I just have my numerator. I need to get the exponent part by itself, which means this 1 needs to go away. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. 0.18 minus 1 gives me a negative 0 0.82 equaling negative, here is my parenthesis to the negative 12th power. I need to undo multiplying by this negative 1, so we're going to divide both sides by the negative 1. Negative by the negative is a positive, so 0 0.82 equaling, we have this parenthesis. I want to take the exponent out of the exponent, which means I need to change it to log form. To change it into log form, I like it when the exponent is written on the right or the left because it's helpful for me to find my base. And then here's my swoop. So I have log of base, so log base 1.0009 of the 0 0.82 equaling the negative 12t. So this is log of 0 0.82 divided by log of 1.0009 equaling a negative 12t. Simplifying this fraction, I end up getting negative 220.6 any t by itself. So divide both sides by the negative 12. They want each other out. I end up getting t to equal 18.3834 which simplifies down to about 18.4 years is how long it would take for you to deplete all of the money in the account.